The reduce array method in JavaScript is one of the hardest array method to understand as a beginner when running JavaScript array methods. And in this video, I'll help you to understand it better by using a real world scenario. So here I have an array of cart with three items. Down here, we'll try to calculate the total cart price by using the reduce array method. We'll just tap on the dot reduce array method and dot reduce array method will accept two things, a callback function and a default value. Now this default value is the default value for our accumulator here. So as you can see, our callback function now will accept an accumulator, an item and an index, which we'll ignore for now. The accumulator here, its default value will be zero to begin with. So for the first item, we'll take the quantity then we multiply by the price that will give us 20 and then we'll add to the accumulator and initially it will be zero. So the total here will be 20 and then we will return that value. That value will be stored in our accumulator. So in the next cycle on our second item, the accumulator will be 20 and we will go ahead and calculate the total for the second item, which will be one times 25. It will give us 25 and then we will add that value to the accumulator. The accumulator stored the previous value, which was 20. Now we'll add 25 and it will give us 45. That 45 will then be stored in the accumulator and we'll move on to the that item. Now the total price for the item will be 3 times 5 which is 15 and that will be the total price for the that item. We'll add that to the accumulator which was 45 and it will give us 60. Once the reduce array method completes going through all the items it will return that value to this particular variable here which is our total cut price. Now our total cut price will be 60. So we can try to log that to the console. So here I'll just hit enter and it will log the total price as 60. So that is the reduce array method. Please rewatch the video if you didn't understand. And the reason why it's called a reduce array method is because we were able to reduce all the information of our cart to a single value, which is the total price. Now, if you'd like me to cover more JavaScript concepts like this one, let me know what you are struggling with at the comment section and I'll cover it.